Hi guys. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Sunday. Hope you're having a nice, relaxing, easy morning. <laughs> it seems to be the theme for every one of my mornings these days. <laughs> but yeah, okay, once again, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for joining me today. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, sorry. Just checking in with Eric, making sure our connection is okay and we're good to go. Um, all right, so we're going to get started. We're going to start laying down on our backs today, okay? So come on down, get nice and comfy. Make sure you have your props handy. You can grab a blanket. You can have two blocks, or you can use books as well. They're easy. Knees, a blanket to protect your knees, and if you would like a strap or something um, to assist you, you can also grab that. And then go ahead and come lay down on your back. Let's arrive here and become centered and present in the now. <sighs> Bring your feet about the width of your mat when you arrive here and allow the knees to touch. And then you're going to just place your hands on your belly. You can interlace your fingers. Place your hands on your belly. And just start to take a few deep belly breaths. Inhale into your nose. Exhale out through your nostrils. Inhale right into your belly, feeling it expand. Exhale to let it all go. Inhale, imagine that belly expanding like it were a big balloon. Exhale out, feeling your belly naturally shift inward. And as you keep with this deep belly breathing, find a slight constriction in your throat to find your ujjayi breath. So as you inhale, exhale out that slightly audible breath. We're going to take three more deep breaths just like that. After your third exhale, start to just rock your knees side to side, keeping them about the width of your mat, right? So it's a little bit wider. Just waking up your body this morning, rocking side to side. to a neutral stance. Just walk your feet in slightly so they're about hip width apart. And then we're going to start with thread the needle pose. So just bring your right foot to your left knee, making a figure four. And then go ahead and grab hold of that left thigh. Keep your shoulder blades nice and grounded down. Find a place to hold on that feels comfortable where you're not straining or clenching. Keep it easy on your fingers. To go a little bit deeper, you can always grab hold of your knee instead, okay? Keep your left foot flexed, maybe we can keep the right foot flexed. Visualize your right thigh externally rotating open. And then go ahead and just keeping this connection between your knee and your foot, Guide that right foot all the way down towards the ground. 
really nice hip opener here. You can even use your left hand to give yourself a little tug. Just get a little bit deeper into your hip flexors. Maybe even just rub your inner thigh a little bit. You can turn your head over towards the right side. And breathe into those areas of tension or tightness. And then come back to the center. And then bring your right knee into your chest. You can keep the left knee blank, bent. If you're looking for a little more, then you can straighten out the left leg, okay? And then nuzzle that right knee as close to your armpit as you can. And then go ahead and just straighten the leg out. Point your toes, flex your heel. You can hold on to the hamstring for added support. Rotate the ankle a little bit. One side, the other side. And then walk your hands up to your shin. Maybe you can find a little bit of a lift here. And then just about five pulses here. So just bringing that hamstring a little bit closer to your forehead, okay? The last one, just hold. Slowly lower your head down, ground into your shoulders, and come into a happy baby on just this side. You can bring your right um, knee towards your right armpit and grab the inside of your right foot here. You can place your left hand on the left hip bone. And then just straighten out this leg a little bit. Keep a little micro bend in the knee if you need to. And then take your left hand, grab hold of the outside of the left foot, the outer edge of that, I mean the outer edge of the right foot. And then just cross it over your body as if you were in a pigeon pose. But we're on our back. And then switch back to happy baby. So grab hold of the inside of your right foot with your right hand. And then switch it back to a modification of pigeon. Keeping the knee bent, just crossing the leg over your body. And then just pass the leg back and forth a few times. You can go a little faster, a little slower. You can rock a little side to side. You can look for some organic movement that feels good to you in your body right now as you're switching this side to side. Okay, take one more round here. Then bend your left knee, allow the right knee to meet your left knee, and give yourself a hug right here. And then clockwise the knees in a circle, place your hands on your knees. And then go ahead and just guide the right foot down and find your thread the needle on this side. So extra and rotate your left hip this time. Find a place to hold on comfortably. I even can put my left elbow near my left knee to just open up the hip just a little bit more. Make it nice and yummy. You can always grab hold of the knee for a little bit further stretch. And then keep your connection, right, between your foot and your knee on this side as you guide the left foot down to the ground. And then you can use your right hand to open up that hip a little bit as you send your gaze over towards the left side.
back to the center. Back to that figure four shape. And then grab hold of the left knee. And then if you straighten out the right knee last, last, the leg last time, you can straighten it out this time or keep it bent if it's better for you. And then coming into the happy baby on this side, take your left hand, grab hold of the outside of your left foot. Bring that left knee in close to your armpit. And then take your right hand, grab hold of the outer edge of your left foot, and find a pigeon pose on your back. And switch it a little bit side to side. Do everybody know this? Remember, you can find some movement. If it feels good, straighten out the leg. Everyone's on their own journey right now, right? So, again, listen to your body. Listen to the cues it's giving you. Notice the difference between a good stretch, right, and something that's too jarring on the body. And lay off a little bit if you're having trouble breathing. The most important part is the breath. Okay, take one last round here like this. Good, and then bring your knees together. Actually, just kidding. Keep this and the left leg up towards the ceiling. There you go. And then rotate the ankle in one direction. And the other direction. And then walk your hands up to the shin. Use the core to lift up slightly. And then five times, we're just gonna pause this hamstring. So just hold to the last one, keep the heart lifted. So good, and then bring both your knees into your chest. And then we're gonna send them out into a V shape, okay? I'm against the wall, so just gonna turn a little bit. And you can hold on to the outer thighs if you'd like. Keep the feet active. Right. Take five more deep breaths right here. Bring the legs back up towards the ceiling. Okay. And then guide the knees into your chest, start to rock up and back. Just a few times until you come up to a comfortable seat. Okay. When you arrive here, place the feet hip width apart. Hands come right next to your hips. And then send your hips up high towards the ceiling. And relax your head and your neck down for altar pose. Take three deep breaths right here. So good. And lower your hips right back down. And then send your right foot out straight up. And then guide your left leg in. Reach up with your hands, grow nice and tall, find a twist in your torso, and guide your head towards your knee. But think heart coming forward as you do that, so we don't round and sit in our lower back. Keep a little micro bend in the knee if it's comfortable for you. So good. Rise on back up and come into a stargazer. So ground into your left hand and open up. Grounding into your left shin. And slowly lower it back down. Good. 
Now just bring that leg out in front of you and find your figure four here again, right? So we're kind of working with this figure four shape. Walk your hands forward. You can grab hold of your foot or wherever you can hold on. And just relax your forehead, relax your neck. Remember, take a moment to feel the pose before we go on to the next pose. Good. Then rise on back up and just place your hands back right next to your hips where we were for altar pose. And then start to just bend this left knee, right? So it's opposite of what I'm doing. Walk it as close as you can to feel it's comfortable for you. You can even walk your hips up a little bit. Again, playing with this figure four shape. And just you look up towards the ceiling, expand your heart. This is a deep stretch for most of us. Slowly walk your foot out and parallel the feet and just shake the legs out a little bit and then guide your right knee out and bring your left leg in. Reach up nice and tall, twist to your torso and come on down to fold. Remember, think hard forward and a little micro bend in your knees, always all right. And then take your stargazer on this side, cartwheel your left hand up and around, and send your hips up towards the ceiling. Slowly lower your hips back down and then find that figure four here, right? So just bring your ankle towards your knee again. And then notice how this side could be a little bit different than the other side. Okay. Working towards building balance and equalness on both sides. And then come on up, place the hands right next to your hips and start to bend your right knee. Okay, bring it as close as you can to you. Like for me, this side's a lot tighter, so I can't come as close as I can come on my other side. So just observing, never judging. And then let the heart space shine forward. Bring your shoulders back away from your ears. Maybe look up at the ceiling. Just breathe into the hip flexor, to the outer piriformis muscle, right? You should be feeling it right here. And then slowly start to just strain out that right leg. And then the legs come out in front of you and we're just gonna shake it out, shake it out. So good. Good, then just go ahead and just bring your legs out to the side. We're gonna come onto all fours, onto our hands and knees. And then here you can just make sure that the hands are right underneath the shoulders and the knees are right underneath your hips, okay? And then start to make a few Sufi circles just surrounding yourself, okay? Start off nice and slow in one direction. And then close your eyes maybe, I mean, it should just be you or maybe you and a friend right in your home. So notice where you might be holding some tension, some tightness where you may feel a little bit of rigidity. And if that's the case, just breathe into that section of your body and then keep going with the circle. And then try it on the other side, right? So switch up the direction of your circle if you haven't done so already. Nice and wide.
one more big wide Sufi circle. And then go ahead, spread the knees wide and take a child's pose with your legs slightly wider than you normally would. Grounding a third eye into the earth. And know that this is the pose where you can always come to at any point in the practice if you're feeling like you need a moment. Good. And come on back onto your hands and knees. And then go ahead and just open up this left hip out to the side. Okay? And kind of like when a dog pees on a fire hydrant, I will use this reference. This is my dog. Good. And then set it up behind you and just kick up. Keep your core tight as you do that. And then open up to the side. And all and send it back to kick. Right? And just alternate between that. Last one. Then bring the leg out to the side, kick it out, and slowly lower it down. And then Sufi circles right here with your leg out to the side. Okay, with the left leg out to the side. Good. And see if right from here, okay, use the strength of your quad and your glute need to lift up that leg again. Okay. Then you're gonna just go ahead and place it right on the outside of your left hand. So left foot right next to your left hand, okay? And our hands are still parallel right underneath our shoulders, okay? And you can stay here, or you can come on down to your forearms for sort of this modified lizard pose here. You can grab blocks, which is also very helpful because it brings the floor closer to you, and just place your hands on your blocks, relax your head and your neck here. If you want more and you're feeling super bendy today, you can lift up that back leg and take your full pigeon, I mean full lizard. I'm gonna hang out here. <laughs> and again, think heart forward. Don't round so much in your back. Keep your shoulder blades backing away from the ears. Good. Then you can come on up from your blocks or wherever you are. Okay, blocks could be healthy, help, really helpful still here too. I'm going to send it back for your half honey one. So just go ahead and send your hips back. Okay. And then we just be right here. Maybe I can lift up the toes. And then just come forward. Send your heart space forward. Look up towards this, right in front of you, up at the ceiling. And then come all the way back for that half split. And go ahead, come forward. It's okay if, you come, if your knee comes a little bit forward of your ankle here. And then send it back, good. Now lift up the back leg and then lift up your left arm. Nice, simple twist here. So good. And slowly lower it back down. Come into a plank pose. Okay. Now from our plank pose, guys, we're gonna lower our knees down. We're gonna lower the chest down. So keep the belly lifted. Think heart forward, heart forward, heart forward. And then lower the chin down. Slide on through for baby cobra. Push into the tops of the feet. Keep your shoulders away from the ears. And then send it all the way back to a child's pose. And take a deep breath right here. Come forward onto all fours, onto your hands and knees. And we're going to take the other side. I'm going to turn so you can see me. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and just take your right leg out to the side. Okay. And then kick up towards the ceiling. 
Keep the core tight, protect your lower back, and just alternate between this. So good, last one. Then go ahead and kick the leg out to the side, ground into the pinky toe edge of the left right foot, and make some circles on this side to get a little bit more into that inner hip. Good. Then get really, really, really strong in that right leg. Make sure all the muscles are active and engaged. So much my leg's actually shaking. <laughs> and then lift up your leg. Bend your knee, place your right foot right on the outside of your right hand. And then you're going to take your lizard variation on this side, okay? So you can come all the way down, you can come onto a block, you can keep that back knee bent, or you can lift it on up if that's more comfortable for you. Let's try not to round the back. And remember, if you're having trouble breathing or anything like that, then go back a couple of steps and loosen up. So good. Now you're going to rise up from here, okay, come into your half split. So just send your hips back. Maybe you're ready to straighten out the leg, maybe the knee stays bent. I have so many friends and family I did. And then come back forward into a lunge, right? But just with the wide leg at the front, look up at the ceiling. And then come on back. Keep the hips level and square best you can. Don't strain, okay? It should feel good. Remember, heart forward. And then once again, grounding into the right foot. Let the heart shine through. Good. Now come on right back here. Lift up your back leg. Take a simple twist. Reach for the ceiling with the right arm. Good. Slowly lower it down and find your plank pose. Just send your legs all the way back. Okay. Now this time we want to lower down as one solid straight line. Okay. So get really, really strong in your core and try to lower yourself down as one solid straight line. And then find that baby cobra lifting of your heart. Down in through the pelvis here and the toes so the knees lift. And slowly lower it down, send it all the way back to a child's pose. Send your hips all the way back again. So good. Come back on to all fours. I'm going to turn again. Okay. And then go ahead and lift that left leg out to the side. And then send it back up towards the seal. Send it out to the side. Allow yourself to ground at the outer pinky toe edge of that left leg. Okay. Make one big soupy circle, maybe two if you have time, nice and quick. And then go ahead and place that left foot on the outside of your left hand. Okay. And then this time we're going to just lift up the back leg and take a simple twist. Reach up with the left arm. Good. Come on back down. This time, guys, take the back leg to Malasana at the front of your mat. So right hand comes to the outside of your right, right foot comes to the outside of your right hand. And then you're just going to slowly lower your tailbone, lower your hips down. You can always sit on a block here. Love a malasana with a block, okay? Place your elbows on your inner thighs. Again, let the heart shine forward. Then it just turn. Okay, and then ground to the left hand. Reach open with the right. Take a twist. And then ground into your right hand. Open up with the left. 
Come on back down, parallel the feet, lift your hips up, forward fold. And then move into your halfway lift. Place your hands right on your shins. Lift the tailbone, lift the heart. And come back down into a forward fold. So really shift your weight forward, away from the heels, towards the toes. Scoop your hands up and around. Bring your palms together, Tadasana. In your Tadasana, make sure the feet are hip width apart. Engage the quads so there's a lifting of the knees happening. The palms are engaged. Then swoop your hands up nice and high. Palms come to high together. And then swoop it back down to forward fold. And send your left leg straight back. And send your right leg straight back to plank. And then find chaturanga if you would like, or you can continue with the knees, chest, chin, or lowering as one solid straight line. Otherwise, shift the weight forward. Keep your elbows tucked. Slide the hearts through, slide the hips forward to an up dog. Then send the hips up and back to your first downward facing dog. So we'll all meet here in down dog. Engage your quads, lift the knees, make sure your pointer fingers are facing forward, the fingertips are spread out. Relax your head and your neck, try to look at the belly button. And lift those hips. Keep the knees slightly bent if it's better. And then slowly lower your knees right back down. Come on to all fours. And then go ahead and just open up the left hip. Right hip, sorry, opposite side. And then send the leg up. And open it back up. Kick the leg out to the side, down into the outer edge of your right foot. And make a few circles here. And then bring your left foot, right foot right to the outside of your right hand. And we're gonna come into our yogi squat on this side. So, well, first simple twist. Lift up the back leg and reach up with the right hand for your simple twist. Good, slowly lower it down and malasana on this side at the front of your mat. You can always be sitting on a mat, on a block here. And then ground into your Right hand, open up with the left, take a twist. And switch over to the opposite side. And then parallel the feet, rise up for a forward fold. And move into your halfway lift. Come back down to fold. Swoop your hands up above your head for your full body extension, maybe a little back bend. And then come into Tadasana, hands come to your side. Okay, quads are engaged. Downing into all four corners of your feet. Good, and then swoop the hands up high and then have a seat in chair. So bend your knees and just have a seat in your chair pose here. Okay, imagine there's a rooting down the base of your body to lift up through your heart and your chest. Externally rotate your hands. And then let it all go, come back down into your forward fold. Send your right foot back. And send your left foot back. Plank pose. And then remember, child's pose. Lower through one solid straight line, baby cobra, whatever you want. Or you could try this chaturanga. To up dog. To downward facing dog. Good, now in your downward facing dog, go ahead and lift up the right leg. Open up the hip on this side. And then shift your weight forward. Place the foot down in between your hands. Now we're going to find a warrior two, guys. So turn your back leg so it's parallel to the back of your mat. And then swoop your hands up and around. 
and settle for your warrior two. Okay, watch where your hands are in space. Make sure the front leg is externally rotated. Your front knees are over your front ankle, okay? Pants are up there, <laughs> comfortable. Okay, then tip it back to peaceful warrior. Just reach back with the right arm. And then come back to warrior two at the front. Come to the center for flying warrior. So parallel the feet, reach up with your hands right above your head, keep the shoulders away from your ears, and then open up to warrior two at the back of your mat. Okay. And tip it back to reverse your warrior here. And shift it back with the strong gaze to warrior two. Come to the center for your flying warrior again. Warrior two at the front of your mat. Lift your frontal hip points. Just bring your shoulder blades back in together. And then take the left hand, swoop it all the way down on the ground, come into a simple twist. Reach up with the right arm. Come on down, frame your front foot Send it back to plank. And then lower through your vinyasa. Then we'll meet in downward facing dog. And the left leg lifts as you open up the hip. And place the foot down in between your hands. Rise up to warrior two on this side. And the back leg is internally rotated while the front leg is externally rotated. And then tip it back to your peaceful warrior. Don't let that lose that front lunge as you tip back. And then with some fierce gaze, come to your warrior two. Meet me in the center to fly, parallel the feet, lift out of your rib cage. Open up to warrior two at the back of your mat. And tip it back to reverse your warrior. Back to the center, warrior two. Lift up to fly. And then straight to warrior two at the front. And then swing that right hand all the way down on the ground for a simple twist. Lift up with the left arm, keep the hips square. Come on down, frame your front foot, send it back to plank. Shift for your vinyasa. Meet in downward facing dog. And then lift the right leg, open up your hip, ground through the left foot, push into the right hand as you open. And then find warrior two on this side. Inhale, exhale as you tip it back for peace. Inhale to warrior two. Back to the center to fly. And then this time, we're gonna open up our feet, right? So turn them out, like you did in Malasana. And then slowly come down for your goddess squat here. Hands at the heart. Maybe sway a little side to side. Good, and then find your core, get nice and tight. Lift out of the ribs and open up to warrior two at the back. That leg is already externally rotated. Tip it back for your peaceful warrior. Back to warrior two. Meet in the center to fly. And then warrior two at the front. Left arm cartwheels all the way down. Reach up with the right arm for your simple twist. And then all the way to the back of the mat for plank. I'm going to take one solid straight line this time. Lift up baby cobra. Shift it back, downward facing dog. And the left leg lifts. 
Warrior two on this side. To the back to peace. And the center to fly. And then you're going to find goddess. I know I'm behind you, but you got this. Open up your legs like a malasana and lower your hips down. And then just sway here side to side. And then find the core of your strength, strengthen your core, rise up all the way, and then find warrior two at the back. Tip it back for peaceful warrior. Warrior two to the back. Rise up to fly. And open up to warrior two. Come to simple twist. Left hand lifts, right hand is grounded. And send it back to plank. This time I'm taking a child's pose, but you can take your vinyasa of choice. And then we'll meet in downward facing dog. And then right leg lifts one more time, open up your hip. Find warrior two at the front. Tip it back for peace. Maybe you want to take a bind this time. Wrap your hand around your back or grab hold of that right thigh with your left hand. And keep the bind straight to warrior two at the front. And then parallel the feet, come into a flying warrior. And then some foot magic, open up your legs. Exhale, rotate both legs, come down into your goddess squat. This time, just place your hands right on your thighs, okay? So shoulders come up towards your ears. And then just twist over towards the left. Back to the center and over towards the right. Back to the center, strengthen your core, rise up to warrior two at the back. Find your bind here, tip it back for peace. And straight to warrior two at the back. Come into flying warrior at the center. And open up warrior two. Move into your simple twist. So left hand comes all the way down on the ground, right hand reaches up. And this time hop to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Take a halfway lift and have a seat in your chair. And then go ahead, bring your hands to your heart, okay, in your chair pose. And then just twist over towards the right. Back to the center and over towards the left. Good. Back to the center, full body extension. Little back bend. Hands come to the heart, to dasana. Good. Swoop your hands up high, back to your forward fold. Send your right foot straight back, and left foot straight back. Take your vinyasa of choice. Meet me in downward facing dog. And then the left leg lifts. Warrior two to the front. Tip it back to reverse. And open up to warrior two. Come into flying warrior. And open up to your goddess. Place your hands right on your shins, on your thighs. And then twist over towards the left and over towards the right. Back to the center, nice and tall. Warrior two to the back. To the back to reverse. Warrior two to the front, I mean to the back. 
Meet you in the center for your flying warrior. And open up to warrior two. Find that simple twist. Right hand comes down, left hand lifts. And hop to the front of the mat. Forward fold. And move into your halfway lift. Have a seat in chair. This time when you twist, maybe your elbow's gonna hook to the outside of your knee. So go a little bit deeper in your twist. Back to the center and turn to the other side. Keep your hands at your heart and elbows reaching up. Back to the center, rise all the way up. Slight back bend. Hands to your heart. Come into Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Okay, then go ahead and just shift your weight over towards the right foot, okay? Actually, just kidding. Come back into your chair pose. Good. Now shift your weight over to the right foot because we want to find a figure four chair. So we're gonna shift your weight over to the right foot, lift up the left leg, and find that figure four. If it's easier to straighten out first, then go ahead, you can do that. You can also stay straight if that's better for you. But then we can come down, lower your hips down into your chair pose. Keep your focus, your point of drishti. Bring the knee in towards your chest. <laughs> it's okay to wobble. Lower through your tadasana. Reach up with your hands, peel your right foot off the ground, and find figure four on the opposite side. And then slowly lower your hips down. Keep this foot really active, okay? The top foot, your left foot. Bring your right knee into your chest. Lower through to Tadasana. Good, place your hands at your heart. Peel your right foot off the ground. Set it all the way back to a high lunge here. And then lower the back leg down and twist. Hook your elbow to the outside of your left leg. Come back to the center. Feet come down to the ground. Send it back to plank. And up to downward facing dog. Then the gates forward in between your hands. Walk it to the front. You can also walk it to the front. Halfway lift. Fold. Full body extension. Tadasana. Peel your left leg off the ground. Send it all the way back. Lower the back leg down. And twist. forward to frame your front foot, send it back to plank, and up to downward facing dog. Send the gaze forward, hop or walk it to the front. Halfway lift, fold. Rise up all the way to Tadasana. Peel your right foot off the ground. Send it all the way back to your lunge. And this time, so you can keep the back leg lifted. Okay? Hey, so close. 
as we twist. And maybe you're going to find that hook as we're standing. Other option is to lower your back leg down. And then come on forward and just lift up your left hand for a simple twist. That's so cool getting water. <laughs> Bring your front foot, send it back to plank. Up to downward facing dog. Look forward in between your hands, hop to the front. Move to a halfway lift. There the TV froze. And come back down to a fold. Rise up all the way. We got it again. Tadasana. Last side, lift up the left leg, send it all the way back. Coming to your high lunge. And twist. And then just place your left hand down, reach up with the right. Come down to frame your front foot, send it back to plank. Hips go up and back, downward facing dog. Now lift up the right foot nice and high guys. Open up your hip, let's come into a pigeon pose. Place your right knee right next to your right wrist, okay? And then just lower the back knee down. And this might be enough for us for our pigeon pose. Okay, we can take it nice and active. Where's my other block? Sorry. Okay. Okay, so take a nice active pigeon pose. Use your blocks to support you. If you're feeling a little bit more comfortable, you can start to walk your back leg back and down a little bit. And if you want a little bit more, maybe even place the blocks in front of you. And place your hands on the block. Remember not to be rounded in your spine. So come forward through your heart. And if it suits you, maybe you'll come down. Okay? And relax your forehead down. And remember, the deeper you want to go, the more you can lower the blocks or the book or whatever it is that you have. Eventually, you can end up all the way down. Good. Lift on up. And then place this right hand right here. Reach back for your back leg. Maybe you can bend the back leg. And grab hold of the back foot. We're gonna just stay right here. And slowly lower it back down. Come into your plank pose. Then send it up and back, downward facing dog. And lift up the left leg, open up your hip. Same thing on this side. Left knee to your left wrist. Try to make your left leg as parallel as you can to your mat, okay? And then make sure you're not like collapsing down on one side, okay? It's easy to do that. Keep your hips square and lifted, which means you may not go down as low, and that's okay. And notice how this side might be a little different than the other side. Maybe you'll come forward. cart forward. And then just walk your hands back slightly to lift yourself up. Place your left hand right next to your left foot in front of you. Reach back with your right hand and then the right knee. Maybe you'll make contact with your foot. So 
So I lower it back down. And this time, guys, take your right leg and so sit on your left hip and bring your right leg all the way forward. Okay. Bring your legs out in front of you. Keep a little micro bend in your knees and just take a forward fold. To a bridge pose. Okay, rock the feet as close to your hips as you can. Place your hands down on the ground, palms facing down. And then lift up your hips using your glutes. Lift up your chest, lift up your chin. You can always take a modified version with blocks underneath you. You can interlace your fingers here, come up onto the shoulder blades, go up a little bit higher. Keep your legs really strong and engaged. We're just taking this one time, so make the most of it. And then slowly, one vertebra at a time, lower it all the way down. And then let's come into our Shavasana, so straighten out your legs. Let the palms come next to you, let the palms face upward. Keep a slight internal location of your legs. For the next minute or so, we're just going to be here. Allowing the fruits of our practice to sink in. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and sigh it out. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Maybe the chin meets your knees. Rock it forward to the front of your mat into a comfortable seat. So we're going to end the class with one sound of OM. Bring your hands to prayer. Take a deep inhale. OM. your third eye, honoring the soul within you. Hands come to your heart pace, from my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate you taking the time to practice with me today and to start your day off like this. Um, if you would like to send a donation for class to help support Beach Yoga SoCal, we really appreciate it. You can Venmo Beach Yoga SoCal, Cash App is dollar sign Beach Yoga SoCal, PayPal is info at Beach Yoga SoCal, but I think it's all written, I think Eric has it all written down in the post. So thank you, your support means so much to me. I have a quick quote for 10 seconds. <laughs> Through confusion, we see clarity. Through complexity, we appreciate simplicity. Through chaos, we find peace. Through hardship, we experience relief. 
Through adversity, we embrace patience. I think only Facebook caught that, but thank you guys. <laughs> Namaste.